As you wait for the snow build-up for an amazing snow vlog with the DJI Mavic 2 Pro in freezing conditions, I prepared you a simple and quick tutorial on how to get the best out of your DJI Osmo Pocket. Just like my 5 tips for the DJI Osmo Mobile 2, it's time for the DJI Osmo Pocket. If you want a stable, great cinematic hyperlapse that will amaze professionals, well, there is a simple hack. Connect your DJI Osmo Pocket with your smartphone and enter the DJI MIMO app. Instead of entering the time-lapse mode, just leave it in video mode with your desired resolution possibly 4K, 24 or 25 frames per second with a super fine quality to get the best possible picture quality. Toggle on the tracking feature and select your desired tracking object. Walk implementing a ninja walk that I like to call it catwalk. And when your feet heats up and tells you that you need a coffee break, just push a little longer to get the extra couple of meters. I am in Europe, so extra couple of meters, cause I even don't understand the measurement of feet. Going partially behind objects will help you to get a better dynamic in your shots. After that, speed up your clip in your editing program to the desired amount percentage sometimes even up to 1000%, you will get a look like photo awesome hyperlapse. To juice up your cinematic shots, you can add up some reveal movements in your videos. This is actually a very simple procedure, just following gently your movement of your hand. You don't want to be in FPV mode cause you want to avoid the roll axis movement. When vlogging you don't need a phone attached to your DJI Osmo Pocket, you can use it also as a standalone camera. You have to just flip the gimbal in the selfie mode. Remember that the face track feature will not work if you are in 4K 60p. All other resolutions will track your beautiful face flawlessly. The face track feature works in follow and tilt locked mode. The FPV mode deactivates the face track option. When using the face track option you can be sure that your face will always be in focus. Bonus tip, the auto power off feature is a must and I leave it always in 1 minute power off. You want to save juice for longer videos and travels if you are distant from a power source. Your photo panoramas are also saved on your SD card like single JPEG plus RAW images. So if you are a pro editor you can unleash your editing skills. When you turn off your DJI Osmo Pocket it goes to pocket position ready. Just like this. After the power down, the gimbal holds its position a couple of seconds to make your life easier. Next time, maybe a comparison between the DJI Osmo Pocket and the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 and which one is better for your shooting style. Thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you really enjoyed with the bell ring icon to get notified every time I make a new video. See you in the next one. Oh, oh, oh.